It's a machine unlike anything you've seen before. This mobile unit could one day work to help remove red tide from our local waterways. Scientists and researchers are testing it at Moat Marine Red Tide Mitigation Facility. Fox 13's Kimberly Cuisan reports it's one of many tools that might be deployed in the future. Working through this system, up to 4,000 gallons of water per minute are being treated and sent back out. Get a rebalancing of harmony between human society and the environment, and I'm convinced this initiative is going to do that. The Zonix Mobile Water Treatment Unit has been utilized in the past for different types of wastewater treatment. Technology is developed, so it's applying the technology for the specific applications, primarily based on uh, volume of water and, and location. Now Prescott Clean Water and Guardian Ozone are working with Moat Marine to treat red tide. The water comes in. Four technologies are used together that are greater than their individual components. It's a force multiplier. It's a single pass, it comes out the other side, and the water's treated with no chemicals and no lasting harm. Scientists are paying close attention to what the treatment could do to marine life. Here, clams and shrimp are still thriving. That's why we're here today, that's why we're so excited about it, is because we've proven through this series of tests that we do both of those things. When you see the living shrimp remaining in the tanks, the living clams remaining in the tanks that have been exposed to this technology, it's denatured the toxin, it's killed the red tide, those organisms are still alive. That's what we want to see. Two dozen technologies are being tested at this facility. They're tools that could one day be deployed to fight red tide. We will be successful. We are being successful right now in developing these technologies. But we need to do this methodically so that when we do deploy, we know that they will do no greater harm to the environment than the red tide does already. In Sarasota, Kimberly Quizon, Fox 13 News. So before they can use that machine anywhere outside the facility, it has to get a final sign-off from the Department of Environmental Protection, and they say that could take about a year.